damage. Well, can't stand searching for a spot or get furious fighting the parking lot puzzle? Then this will get your engine revving. A parking garage that does the hard work for you. And Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes shows us how this high-tech spot is parking your automa automobile automatically. <laughs> Cars. A Southern California staple. Fun to drive. And not so fun to park. Concrete, soulless parking structures daring you to squeeze your car between the lines. But now... We're bringing sexy back to parking. Christopher Allen is the founder of Auto Park It. His company builds these fully automated high-tech parking garages. This one at the Helms Bakery campus in Culver City. One. Houses 247 cars. Allen says the same size standard garage with driveways, ramps, and headroom could only fit 86 cars. LA's changing and we got to change with it. Walter Marks owns the Helms and now this futuristic parking garage as well. And no one's saying what the price tag was, but Auto Park It says they build these robotic garages for roughly the same price as the old school concrete ones, but with way less maintenance. Standard garages need ventilation and lighting systems and have to run constantly. Here we don't. There's nobody in the system. It's unoccupied space. The cars don't run. They're not using gasoline. So that energy consumption alone is about 60% less than a traditional parking structure. Good for the environment and good for your car. I guess when you have a computer that's doing the parking, you don't have to worry about dings and scuffs and other parking lot hazards. No car gets scratched. No one, no birds get in there. Your car is going to stay clean. You could leave it unlocked and there's no one in there to get it. Look for even more of these things popping up. Auto Park, it says it's in talks to build more than 40 of them in L.A. right now. Sadly, though, it hasn't yet figured out how to turn average cars into above average cars. And like that, a Porsche appears. <laughs> but you have to drive up into Porsche to get a Porsche. Uh, ostensibly, that'd probably be a good start. In Culver City, Rob Hayes, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.